Hey, it's me, Candace. I'm getting up to start my work day. I'm gonna wake up my kid and getting ready to start my day. Okay, drink your milk. Come on, drink your milk. So, I'm getting ready to start my work day. I can tell it's already gonna be a long night by the way uh, emails and calls I've received from residents. Uh, there's something to vote on tonight on the agenda and people don't want it. So, that means they're gonna um, come to the council meeting and let us know. Right now, I have to focus on work and getting into the office and getting some things done before I head out for the day. Um, so right now, I'm stopping to get my favorite breakfast, which is a breakfast taco. But we're looking for people that are self learners, is what you always say. Like, they, yeah. if they don't know it, it's okay. As long as they're not content with not knowing it, they're willing to go look it up, they're willing to go talk to other people in the company, they can Google how to do. Councilwoman Quarles. Yes. Um, okay. Just a quick question about, tell me a little bit about uh, why DeSoto, so the market. So you guys probably know we have a couple of hotels coming online, so we want to ensure that they're at capacity um, with this new one coming online, and then also average cost per night for uh, this location. Okay. So, you know, one thing we looked at, one of the decisions about the, the, the hotel we currently have, it's a 75-room hotel, um, where things in DeSoto are happening very fast. Most of us that are here in the audience, and I'd like to take just a few minutes to say those that are part of my three minutes, if you're here opposing this zoning change, would you please stand? Okay, so with that, you um, I just think it will, will not bring anything extra to the neighborhood. I Discuss the storage. Uh, the gentleman, uh, with all due respect, uh, he says $10 million. That's like Donald Trump throwing paper towels to the people in Puerto Rico. <laughs> that was not very pleasant to see. What I'm saying is, we want growth and development in DeSoto. Often, uh, our family have been here. Since 1984, prior to our current residence, uh, we lived in the uh, Ray Andrew area of uh, Ruby Young. And, um, you know, I heard a lot today, it's kind of along those lines, if you build it, they will come. But maybe we ought to be careful about who will come if you build that storage facility. Um, I don't know about others, but when I come off at 137, PD 137, to plan development 172 with a base zoning of general retail district GR to allow a mini warehouse storage by right with deviations on approximately 2.31 acres. Yes, yes Councilwoman Quarles. I just wanted to uh, share with you guys about um, the development in our city. We are 
we are always on the same page. When we have these um, meetings and you come and, and tell us the things you want to see in your city, I really wish, uh, now that I'm in this seat, I really wish the citizens could know how hard we really try to get those things that we all want in our communities. And, you know, it kills me every time I go up north and I see they try some new project or they're able to throw money at something and see if it sticks or they'll go right south of us and Red Oak and try the same thing that we want. But just know that we're all on the same page. We want those good things for our city. Um, you know, it's a lot of things with circumstances of it's a little bit of redlining, it's a little bit of school district, it's a little bit of racism. Um, and it's also a little bit of us the ability to market ourselves to get those things. But I just want you guys to know we are trying so very hard to get those type of projects and all those developments that you talked about. Zone for retail, and I get that that's the area that it's going to be, but I think, you know, we just need to hold out a little bit longer and we can get something that we truly could use to be a benefit, especially at a major uh, intersection in our city. But I just wanted to share that we, uh, we, we hear you guys, and thank you. Thank you for everyone that came tonight. Thank you, Council on the Coral. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor, please raise your right hand. And this is to deny. It's unanimous. I believe uh, that motion passes 7-0. It was unanimous. Thank you, Council, and thank you. Okay, so it's on um, 10.49, and council meeting is over, and I'm getting ready to head to Whataburger, or something to eat. Yeah, Whataburger, since it's next door. So I had a good meeting, um, lots of discussion. Man, I love being on city council. Okay, you guys have a good night. <laughs>